All right, so it's time for a little buy local and uh, we're swinging into the Christmas season very quickly. Yes, this is our very first week, but people take punch very seriously. And uh, I have a buddy that, a bar buddy, let me, let me, let me put it, a bar buddy. His name, Chad Leloy, and he has taken a line of puncher cremes so seriously, doing a range of flavors and some unique flavors to boot, um, nice creamy type flavors. Chad now has his own branding. Now, let me, let me, Chad, congratulations. Thank you, sir. Well, I congratulate you. I really just wanted um, quickly to just show folks where we met and, and how we met. You, you, you've been my bar buddy for some time and you have oh, done, wow. yeah, yeah, yeah. This is Chad, you know, in, in the Cup of Joe cookbook. And Chad has been mixing drinks for those of you who would have been following the show for some time. He's been mixing drinks on this show and creating some fantastic cocktails. And now, you're creating punch cream. Yes, I am. How did that happen? I mean, when you told me, do you really want a bottle of punch I, do, I don't refuse punch cream, you know. <laughs> but then all of a sudden, you know, experimenting with flavors. Well, I've always loved punch cream. Yeah. And my, every Christmas, my aunt would make, and we would, the entire family would wrap it up. And from my experience being a bartender, 11 years, almost 12 years. Already, yeah? So I started to, to experiment, let's say about six, seven years ago. I just asked my aunt for the recipe, which is, actually I'm the only person in our family who has the original recipe. Outside of your aunt? Outside of my aunt. Right. Her sons and daughters don't have it. <laughs> she I'm trusted using. you with it. <laughs> and so I started making it one year and then experimenting more. And it was only about five years ago, four or five years ago, I started trying Okay, let's make different flavors. And I was given away at that point. And I was like, okay, you know what? People wanted it. My friends were just saying, hey, I'll give you a little something for it. Okay, let's try it out. <laughs> so last year is when I actually started doing these flavors and this wide um, selection of flavors. Yeah. But up until the year before it was, it's a hobby of mine. I love doing it. Yeah. And, you know, I love making it. Like, okay, let me try, let me try doing this. Because people were asking me since... August, and July, hey, can you make this for me? Hey, I'm, I have some friends coming from the States early this year, can you do something? Yeah, yeah. So I said, you know what, it's Christmas time. People are always complaining when they buy, when they get punch of cream. They don't like it this way, they don't like it this way, it's too bland. Let me try, let me try something different. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I started doing different flavors, experimenting, and what I have here for you today these are the flavors that sell the most for me. They sell, they sell the turn most. out to be a huge hit. Before, you, before we talk about the flavors, do you still do the original punch yes, cream? Yes, I do. Flavor recipe? I do it. Is it so. that the flavors have taken off more than that original? The original, it's when and truly people who are suckers for tradition. Right. They, they are the people who buy it. Right. And the people who, who request it. But people you're finding now wanting to experiment with, with the flavors. flavors. Yeah. Especially yeah. this lovely flavor which I brought which, last year, the Amaretto. Amaretto. This one, when I did it last year, it's not as thick as the other ones, but the flavor is much smoother. And you see a lot of women when they first say Amaretto. I can't make enough. Serious. I cannot make enough. Mm. I can make three cases today and by tomorrow it's sold out. It's sold out. Serious. And it's not even it's not even Christmas yet. And it's not Christmas yet. <laughs> so you're finding outside of Christmas people ordering ordering the bunch of cream stuff. It's no longer mm. just a Christmas thing. Late October, November, yes. Early, earlier. People are ordering earlier. I mean I would make this throughout the year if people ask me to. I have no problems. I personally think Puncha creme, especially what we have as what Trinidad is, Trinidad and Puncha creme. Yeah. So unique to us that we should not just have it for Christmas. Right, yeah, yeah. I mean, we have just like eggnogs egg all over. Eggnog all over the world, the, correct. Right, correct. but our one is very special in, yeah. one, in one context. Oh, which, which context is that? With all the recipes from around the Caribbean, America, England, Latam, one ingredient that we, all, every recipe in Trinidad has, as Angostura bitters, that yeah, you yeah. hardly ever find. One in one, one in fifty, anywhere else in the world. That makes all special. Special. That makes all special. Tell me about the flavors because as I said I'm seeing some very dark. All right. Brews. So <laughs> this is a cappuccino. This is what I call my morning punch of creme. This is what I'm actually having a drink of right now. That's what you're having, you know. If you want a, something smooth and nice, 
with a good caffeine kick, yeah. this is it. Drink it in the morning, don't drink that at night. You'll be up, buzzing. Like I said, the amaretto. That's the amaretto. Smooth and nice, very easy going. Just put it in the fridge. You don't even need ice. Chilled. The dulce de leche for all the people mm. who love caramel. Yeah. Little... This one is personally one of my favorites to make and was and probably the biggest pain in my side to make as well. Serious? It takes me about two and a half hours to make one batch of 12 bottles. And that's me. because of the process with the, the condensed milk? Yes. Yeah, and yeah, after, yeah. I'm, after I, I, how I do it, I do finish it two ways. Mm -hmm. Start, you know, the regular boil it in, in, a, in, hot, in hot water. Yeah, 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 then I finish it in a double boiler with spices. So you intensify that? Oh, yeah. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> and then this is my labor of love. This is my favorite to make. This is the chocolates. And this one I take exceptional pride in because I don't use syrup. I don't use these easy mix stuff. I use proper granny cocoa, cocoa tea when I'm boiling my milk with all my spices. So when you drink this, there's not no milk chocolate you're drinking or some, or some kind of Nesquik. This is pure, <laughs> pure Trinidad you have cocoa in that. Real cocoa. Yes. Real cocoa in this. Chocolate lovers, you'll love that one. With all the spices, perfect. Can I try this one first? You go right there, partner. No, no, let me tell you. The, the first time I tasted any water, to dilute. <laughs> <laughs> the first time I tasted Chad, Chad sent a bottle. I think it was the peanut I sent for you. I'm trying to remember. What, let me tell you what I remember. Because I, I suppose Christmas time, I just crack it open, bunch of bottles. And <laughs> I remember when I drank yours, I said, the kick. Oh, Chad is a bartender mixologist. The alcohol kick I got. You don't taste it, you feel it. <laughs> <laughs> I said, yes. Cheers. Let me congratulate my brother. Because I, I, said, this, this, I said, you took it. Obviously, you saw a demand, um, the entrepreneurial side of you kicked off, and, and, and now you have Charles Punch of Creme. Yes, well, hopefully, I'm, by next year, I'm trying to get certain aspects of this mechanized and automated, so I don't have to be spending all the time doing small batches. I could try and produce a little bit extra. Right, I'm not trying to take it from your hand, handmade stuff, because I like to be in control of that aspect. There are, some, there, there are some spices here. A blend of nine different spices. Wow. Because because it, 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 it hits you immediately. Mm -hmm. It's not just a milky pentagram. I use night when I do my own. I do a hot application with my milk. <coughs> I bring my milk up to temperature with all the spices. Like I said, nine different spices. Mm -hmm. A blend of local and locally sourced, as well as one or two international ones. Just Plus bitters. I'm a coffee man, and this is a cup of joe. So I'm I'm, <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna try the cappuccino. I'm gonna oh, try yeah. I'm gonna try the cappuccino. Don't get too drunk. Do <laughs> yeah, I'll keep you from going over. How long, how long are you mixing drinks for me? <laughs> <laughs> I've seen you carnival fest. <laughs> I've seen you carnival fest. So this, this is a morning punch of cream. This is a morning punch of cream. Hey. <clears throat> keep that in you, the office, you, you, away from the boss. Yeah. You've played with the flavors wonderfully. Thank You've you. You've played with the flavors wonderfully. And it's true to the flavor. I mean, you, you feel like you're drinking a cappuccino here, and then you get the kick and the creaminess of the punch of creme flavor. Yeah, lovely, lovely. Chad, thank you for dropping by this morning and getting us started Not here. Not a problem. Well, Buy local, guys. Your line of punch of cremes. If you're looking for punch of cremes, Chad's punch of creme. Where can we get it? And it's Chad's can, gourmet punch of creme, mind you. All right. Hey. You can send me an email right. with an order or request for information at chadaleloy at gmail.com. Right. You can always check me out on Instagram, Chad LL. Or look for Chad Leloy, you'll always find me. I'm the bartender, the guy you know. <laughs> Chad Leloy, the one and only. Uh, I've been mixing drinks here on a cup of joe for some time. Uh, now has his own line of punch cremes. Check him out online on all his social media platforms and place an order, yes? Yes, sir. Oh, Chad Leloy, congratulations, my brother. I'll sip out with this one.